Hello everyone. Welcome to the fresh video cast episode of My Emotions Matter. And uh, you know, ever since this coronavirus began and the lockdown began, and now that the lockdown is being eased, during this entire journey, I think there is a very important reflection that I have had. I believe uh, that trust is a very very important component, and this is something that I've realized in this lockdown. And I'm. I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to my supervisors, uh, Sagar Dai and Bhavna Di, because you know, uh, ever since we uh, went into the situation of lockdown, we were all working from home, and during this situation, my supervisors trusted me enough to do my work. So I think the how important the culture of trust is is something that uh, has been seen. during this period of lockdown because everyone was working from their homes and supervisors were not able to see what the subordinates were doing from their eyes they had to trust that the subordinates were doing the right work and i think this itself showed how important is it to build a culture of trust in organizations and today we'll be talking exactly about that and we have a very very special guest with us uh, to have a conversation on this topic uh, we'd like to welcome uh, mr sashwat karki so for the ease of the conversation i'll be referring uh, to him as sashwat during this entire episode so sashwat works in the hr department of the renowned lakshmi bank and other than that he is also the uh, member of us embassy youth council nepal uh, thank you so much for making time for us today sashwat pleasure to be here okay so you know during this lockdown there was one thing that i realized uh, i think it is very important to feel trusted and uh, this is something that i realized you know when i was working in the kitchen so i am not a good cook i'm not a great cook at all and uh, but i think cooking gives me joy and i like experimenting new recipes in the kitchen but uh, what happens is that people around me usually don't trust me in the kitchen they feel like i'll make some mistake or that i'll lead to some blunder so uh, that sounds very funny but then again this when i was facing this constantly uh in my family and uh, in the environment around me this ultimately built a lot of resentment in me and i started feeling very inadequate because i was not being trusted and i think this is where uh, i realized that how important the culture of trust becomes so sashwat in your experiences what do you think are some repercussions of not having the culture of trust and you know and not having a culture where people trust each other with their work what are some repercussions of that thank you very much mahima for that question i think it's really important question that not just me as a person but also as a as an individual who's working in an organization is thinking about this question a very important and uh you know a question that has been raising not just in my organization but also in outside outside country i think at first uh, what i believe is the trust factor is really really important and especially during this time in this pandemic where each one of us is you know trying to give our best be it at home be it at office or be it anywhere we just try to make ourselves you know uh, try to stay safe focus on our work and the working system now you know has become a new normal again so what i feel is the repercussions that i feel or what i have been also hearing as an hr is that due to due to the due to lack of trust factor the working efficiency or the performance level of staff has been declined because when any person or a member or a line manager or supervisor they don't trust their teammates or the team members then what happens is the other person feels more they don't feel very secured हुन्छ नि अलिकति कन्फिडेन्स लेभल पनि ल्याक भएको केसहरू धेरै छ अनि जति पनि लेभलको एउटा हुन्छ नि इनपुट दिनुपर्ने कुरा हुन्छ लाइक एज अ स्टाफ आफ्नो हन्ड्रेड पर्सेन्ट वेन एवर दे फिल लाइक गिभिङ द हन्ड्रेड पर्सेन्ट बट ड्यू टू द ड्यू टू ल्याक अफ ट्रस्ट फ्याक्टर कन्फिडेन्स लेभलमा कम हुन्छ होइन अनि अर्को कुरा चाहिँ त्यो क्रिएटिभ आइडियाजहरू आउँदैन होइन अनि अर्को चाहिँ व्हाट आई फिल इज प्रोडक्टिभिटी घट्छ के ओभरअल बिकज as a hr what is what we observe is the level of performance how he or she is performing in an organization in a department right so jab some trust factor bhai na hudaina bhane chai tesle chai timro like confidence level ma manche staff le dinu pani euta showcase garnu pani creative side ma ra euta team ma kaam garne usko efficiency garcha 
मृत्यु सब पे बॉय वेन वर्ट है इट लीड्स टू द लैक अफ प्रोडक्टिविटी अफ अ स्टाफ एकजना स्टाफ को प्रोडक्टिविटी में कम होने को टीम में असर कर टीम स्पिरिट भी कम होना सो वेन वी टक अबाउट टीम स्पिरिट वेन वी टक अबाउट कलेक्टिव वर्क एकजना को भनम न पांचजना औंला में एकजना एवं औंला अलग कम कम कमजोर भो काम करना गाड़ो होनी इन अ सीमिलर वे इच टीम मेम्बर इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट इन अ टीम एंड आई अलवेज टक अबाउट पीपल मैटर्स बीट एनी वर्क बीट अ पर्सन बिकज आई एम वर्किंग इन अ बैंक सो मैं बैंक के रिनेटेड इक्जापल्स धे दिन सकु इसमें है आई कुड रिनेट वेल बीट अ पर्सन वर्किंग इन अ टेलर और बीट अ पर्सन वर्किंग इन अ बैक अफिस सेंट्रलाइज यूनिट में काम कर बीट एनी वन एवरी जब मैटर्स एवरी पर्सन मैटर एवरी मेम्बर अफ स्टाफ वर्किंग इन द अर्गनाइजेशन मैटर भोलि हम सपोर्ट स्टाफ आने भेन हमें चिह खाना पाऊं हमी वॉशरूम जान पाऊं सब फोरो डर्टी होना रामो टीम में एकजा मं आए राम काम कर सकेन हम टीम स्पिरिट घट सो आई बिलिव यो मिसट्रस्ट हटाने का ट्रस्ट फैक्टर हो बिल्ड कर एकदम जरूरी है अलग के टाइम में रो हम कुछ हमें फोकस गये एम स्पिरिट ए टीम वर्क में हम काम गये अर्गनाइजेशन को अब्जेक्टिव मिट हो सो दैट इज वाट आई फील महिमा आई थिंक वन वेरी इंपोर्टेंट लर्निंग दैट आई हेव फ्रॉम योर आंसर इज दैट वेन पीपल डोन्ट फील ट्रस्टेड दे प्रोडक्टिविटी विल डिक्रीज दे एफिशियंसी विल डिक्रीज दे नॉट फील गुड अबाउट देम सेल्स यू नो दे सर्टेन लेवल अफ इनफेरियोरिटी दैट दे माइट एक्सपीरियंस एंड दैट इज नॉट हेल्दी फॉर एनी ऑर्गनाइजेशन वॉट इज हेल्दी फॉर एन ऑर्गनाइजेशन इज मेकिंग पीपल फील दैट दे मैटर वेन वी मेक पीपल बिलीव दैट दे मैटर दैट दे आर इम्पोर्टेंट टू अस that is more important uh, than you know not trusting them and making them feel inferior i think that is a beautiful learning that i take from your answer so what are a few things you think that supervisors or leaders could do to make their employees feel trusted what are those little steps that they can take uh, so that you know they the people working with them feel more trusted around them okay and that's again another important question that i would relate um what i feel in this case is that uh, as a supervisor or as a line manager they have to have that habit of listening at first to their subordinates most of the time and even you know more people they just uh, listen to respond immediately but they don't listen to actually analyze the situations or circumstances at first as a leader or as a manager or as a supervisor he or she needs to have that uh, habit of listening to their subordinates because when we build that habit of listening uh, when we build that habit of listening to our subordinates or our uh, teammates in that case what happens is that problem ki re sata what is the actual problem what is the main problem that staff is facing what is the main uh, what, what kind of challenges the staffs are going through hai na so tyu kura lai chai as a supervisor at first he or she needs to build that habit of listening hai na ani kura suni sakepachi um how that person is feeling or ko manche le kasto feel garira cha staff le esto pandemic ko time cha sabai ko ghar ma internet access high speed ko na huna sakcha hai na work pressure huncha tara tesla kasari kaam garne ta listening ko kura auncha again ani arko kura chai you trust factor ko lagi chai team le bhaneko jasto malai ke lagcha bhane assumption hunu bhayena ke as a leader or as a manager ulle to kaam gari halyo la ni usle to kaam sakai sakyo hola hai na usle to kaam like you or she supposed to give that you or she supposed to complete that work and submit it to me by today itself tara aira chaina aile samma please let's not assume tyo assumption rakhi raknu bhanda tyo staff ko bare ma negative huncha ni euta thought rakhnu or portray garnu bhanda pani why not you just give a call to that person and just ask easily hai na so assumption hunu bhayena assumption leads to again mistrust hai na assumption leads to bad expectation and त्यसले अगेन के गर्छ भने रिलेशनशिप मा चाहिँ ब्रेक लिएर आउँछ कि रिलेशनशिप मा एउटा हुन्छ नि अलिकति ब्यालेन्स क्रिएट गर्दैन रिलेशनशिप मा अलिकति मिसट्रस्ट हुने भयो हैन अनि त्यसले अगेन भयो भने के हुन्छ भने त्यसको रिजल्ट इज भेरी मच भिजिबल राम्रो हुँदैन सो अजम्पसन राख्नु भएन एक्सपेक्टेशन्स चाहिँ राख्नु भएन हैन र भनेको कुरा चाहिँ उले बुझिरा छैन भने उले बुझाउनु पर्यो एज अ सुपरवाइज उले कुरा बुझेर सिकाउनु पर्यो हैन सो त्यो भयो भने चाहिँ आई थिंक तिनो भनेको कुरा चाहिँ अलिकति अब्जेक्टिभ कुनै न कुनै रूपमा चाहिँ मिट हुन्छ जस्तो लाग्छ र अगेन कन्भर्सेसन्स 
because as an HR, what I feel and what I tell is, um, as a manager or as a line manager or as a supervisor, you or she should reach out to the people. Okay? I know. Communication the garne. Tora most of teams on key problems have any or la gore my bone and my team is on a reach out by a team like team leaf feel gorica curala my sodne, sunne, retella saw gone into the lagu person. This go like again assumption gone boy now. I know. Um team le my mal you could a so so chira cola bone feel gone boy now. I think as a manager, reach out gonna sock you bone say this my clarity on sa communication my rambo era loans of the laxa malate. I think one very beautiful learning that I take from your answer is communication is the key to building trust in organizations. And when communicating, it is also very important to do active listening because sometimes, you know, when communicating, we can forget to listen to what the other person has to say. But uh, when supervisors and managers can really listen to the subordinates, to their employees, to uh, listen to how they are feeling, listen to their challenges, that would build the culture of trust. And the other thing that communication does is break assumptions. When we usually don't communicate with people, we start assuming things. We start assuming things about the situation. We start assuming things about them. And these assumptions lead us to becoming suspicious of whatever is happening. So communicating can be very important. One, to break any negative assumptions or any uh, wrong assumptions that we might have. And when we communicate, it is again very important to, be, uh, to do active listening. Um, and having said all of this, there are a few people, you know, who like being micromanaged, uh, like, you know, who like being told uh, what they should do and how they should do it. So there are a few people that I have come across in my work journey uh, who like being micromanaged. So what are your experiences? Have you also come across people who like being micromanaged? And what is the best way? to help these people who like being micromanaged because that is just their preference style. We cannot judge them because they like being micromanaged. We should rather accept them and be able to help them. So in your opinions, um, what are a few ways uh, in which supervisors or managers or even uh, people working in the HR could help people uh, who like being micromanaged? Actually, a lot of time, you know, um, as you talked about uh, people's preferences, uh, their way of working at office. Um, as I rightly mentioned, uh, you know, everyone, they might not be feeling comfortable, um, you know, to come out from the comfort zone. A lot of people, they just prefer staying in the comfort zone. Preferences, you don't have to worry about it. 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 Because Papa is a man, so you don't have to comfort zone, but you don't have to worry about it. Again, supervisor, line manager, judge So, question it's people's preferences. The concept of micromanage is someone or as a supervisor or as a line manager, let's say, control the staff. observe time and again. Um, so, this is the staff like a kid, so staff like micromanage Gorik Mon Persa, or a staff like Terry, Koyaka is observed Gorik in Mon Napornikis Pinunsagi. Cam Gori Rock the Harry, Eddie Rock the Harry, Oba Aplicama, Gano Dinosaki, or Runa Soxa, you know, Focus Gori Rock the Harry, Apple, Exam John Conscious, or Insa, Apple, Junior level of input Dinopernun, so Tupin known, Sockney Kiss or Pinun Soxa. So, um, if you want to get micromanaged or um, if they want to get micromanaged or um, supervisors or line managers, you can address the team as you can do your things to do your work. You can do your things to do your work. You can do your things to do your work. As a staff, if you are comfortable, that's fine again. I know my lawyer, but everyone has their own personal space and everyone might not be feeling comfortable coming out from that to spy the web board again. So, um, this to staff or let's say, or this to individuals, let's what I would like to say is that I'll have a question. Gone again, I know, like, about the office, my team introverts, how that's fine. So, are you actually enjoying that? Are you actually loving that? Being micromanaged, I know, about when I live, you know, it becomes habit again. Okay, um, as a mile team, like, you can go to the body, body, multi-legal performance, observe, you got the whole team, I've been on success, I've been by success again. 
तिमले के गर्न थाल्छौ भने यु जस्ट स्टार्ट थिंकिंग कि भोलि गएर उहाँले फेरि मलाई यो काम असाइन गर्दिन हुन्छ एन्ड इट विल बी इजी फर मी टु कम्प्लिट माइ वर्क हैन सो इट बिकम्स अ ह्याबिट अगेन तर एज अ स्टाफ उले सोच्नु पर्यो आफुले आफुले क्वेशन गर्न पर्यो एम आई एक्चुअली एन्जॉयिंग बीइंग माइक्रो म्यानेजर एट वर्क प्लेस एम आई एक्चुअली एन्जॉयिंग हुन्छ नि अब्जर्व गरिरहेको कसरी एम आई एक्चुअली बीइंग एबल टु कन्सन्ट्रेट अन माइ वर्क भनेर सोध्नु पर्यो हैन र अर्को कुरा चाहिँ के हुन्छ भने um there are some group of individuals who don't want to get micromanaged who want to get micromanaged and a person here the hairy sa kati lai chai micromanaged bhako man parcha tara una lai chai at times bahira pani auna ma lagne case haru pani huncha ke a testo case ma chai ke garnu paryo bhane huncha ni banking tira chai hamro chai hamro organization ma chai we talk about having a mentor haina koi tapai le like mentor group ma rakhnu bhayo bhane kura garne ho sanga है मैं इस मेरे इश्यू है मेरे प्रब्लम इस मेरे इंट्रेस्ट इस तब को मेन्टर ने तबला गाइड कर सके ये कुरा में हेविंग अ गुड मेन्टर और हेविंग अ मेन्टर वुड डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू टू गाइड एज टू विच पाथ यू गोइंग इन यर लाइफ एज टू विच पाथ यू गोइंग इन यर करियर है कि था एज अ माइक्रो म्यानेज भाग मन पर्ने स्टाफ लाइक मेन्टर राम भो तब मेन्टर ने तब गाइड गए हैं माइक्रो म्यानेज कर तब नमन पर्न सकने केस सो आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपोर्टेंट टू हेव अ गुड कन्वर्सेशन विथ पीपल हुई रियली फील वेरी मच इजी talking with haina so tyu chai hunu paryo ra agi timle bhanaya jastai micro manage bhako naramro kura haina it's the people's preferences it's their choice it's their interest um, everyone might not be feeling okay to come out from that zone ra if you want if you really want to come out from that zone i think you need to have a good talk a conversation with someone haina tyu bhayo bhane chai result or timro progress adhi agadi barna sakcha jasto lagcha malai mahima I think one very important learning that I have from your answer is that sometimes people like being micromanaged because they like being in their comfort zone. They might be fearful as to what would happen if they would come out of their comfort zone and if they would not be micromanaged. So they might feel fearful like they'll be responsible, they'll become accountable and that fear might uh, you know prevent them from being uh, from that fear might lead them to choose micromanagement over democracy. even though micromanagement might not be healthy for them but for some people who might genuinely like being micromanaged it is okay but w- one thing that i'd really like to appreciate about your answer is that you know having a mentor can really help so in organizations in our personal lives maybe we could you know have a mentor someone we could actually talk to and this person could actually guide us through our life through our decisions so when we feel like micromanagement is not working out for us anymore we could go and have a conversation with this mentor and maybe with the help of the guidance that they provide us with the help of self reflective conversations that we could have with such mentors you know we could turn out to become a different person we you know come out of our comfort zone we'd come out of that need where we might feel like okay i do not need micromanagement and i think at my motions matter we have a service called coaching supervisors where we help supervisors take on the role of mentors through our uh, training programs so if you'd like to know more about that program please feel free to reach out to us via our social media uh, so yeah uh, having said that you know sometimes it is also very natural for supervisors to find it difficult to trust their employees like in my personal case one thing that i've also realized is that the reason why my uh, family does not or you know my loved ones might not trust me in the kitchen is because of their previous experiences with me in the kitchen i have made like massive blunders in the kitchen i have made like horrendous dishes which were not at all good and because of those experiences you know they can find it difficult for me to trust they can find it difficult to you know put that trust on me when i'm in the kitchen it is very natural so in case of managers and in case of supervisors as well sometimes because of their own experiences or sometimes because of previous experiences they can find it difficult to trust with their subordinates so in such situations what what could be the small steps that uh, managers or supervisors could take to you know uh, start becoming more trusting I think what is important uh, as a supervisor is that the feeling of understanding their subordinates the feeling as to how their staff members are going through in their personal and professional life pehle kai ki huncha bhane personal life ma pani dherai issues har aira huncha dherai problems har aira huncha tesko karan garda hari pani usle chai aapno work life ma ramro tarikale effort 
effort diera rams kaam garna nasake kes har pani dherai bhai raunchha haina because of the personal issues because of the family issues because of the uh, professional life ko kahile ka issue le garda hai chai usle aapno performance ma ramro dina sakirako hudaina tyo kura ta usle man ma rakhira huncha usko supervisor la tyo kura ta tha hudaina haina so as a supervisor diye ko kaam matra haina ki how he or she is feeling usko expression kasto chha ta usma kura garera उसको आई टू आई कंटैक्ट करें उसे कसरी फील कर हाउ यूर सी मस्ट बी फिलिंग है अब लाइक पैंडेमिक सीचुएसन में मैं विभिन्न प्रकार को इश्यूज आन सकता सो तो कारण हो काम में अफेक्ट कर अलग प्रोडक्टिविटी राम और एफिशिन्सी राम न भर तेज मिस्ट्रस्ट लेकिन सो तो अलग राम बना को अलग इंप्रूव कर वट इज इंपोर्टेंट इज दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ द स्टाफ इज फिलिंग हाउ देयर सबर्डिनेट्स मस्ट बी फिलिंग रोक के स्मल स्मल कुछ के उ टैलेंट के उ इंट्रेस्ट के इंट्रेस्ट भी बुझने टाइम टाइम में अन सान असाइनमेंट हर दिने कि वर्क रिनेटेड है कि तिम्रो लाइक भनम न मैं अब कोई मेरे अंडर में कोई स्टाफ छोड़ उस भोलि फाइव टू टेन एट इंट्रेस्टिंग खाल एचआर संबंधी एचआर संबंधी कोटर रिसर्च कर आऊ भन भे है सो उस उसको के इंट्रेस्टेड एचआर में कोट में उसके के उसे सिलेक्ट कर लेकर आँच तो उस स्मल स्मल टास्क ऊ कस में इंट्रेस्ट लगाए काम कर है स्मल स्मल एक्सरसाइज एज अ रिसर्च व्हाट रिसर्च सेज इज दैट वी डोट लेट्स नट एक्सपेक्ट पीपल टू डू द वर्क ओवर नाइट है स्मल स्मल असाइनमेंट दिए सान सान उ टास्क दिए उ बुझ् खोजे टू वे कम्युनिकेशन करें है स्टाफ को इंट्रेस्ट बुझे है स्टाफ को लाइक उ इंट्रेस्ट लग्न सकता उ एनकरेज कर वन वर्ड आई राइटली सर एनकरेजमेंट स्टाफ लाइ उन मिस्ट्रस्ट जस्त भाग उ अलग आपू हो काम कर डिस्लोयल भाग जो फील भैर अंडरस्टैंड कर स्टाफ लॉब्लम बुझे है उल्ले एनकरेज कर जरूरी है वी अफन टक अबाउट मोटिवेशन फैक्टर और एनकरेजिंग आवर सबर्डिनेट्स इन वर्क प्लेस राइट सो स्टाफ एनकरेजमेंट एकदम चाहिए कि इट्स नट अलवेज ने हेव टू बी मोनिटरी एनकरेजमेंट और यू इट्स नट ने हेव टू बी फाइनेंसियली उ सपोर्ट कर स्मल जेस्टर तिमें द वर्क विच यू डे टू डे इज वेरी यू नो कमेंडेबल तिमें गए काम एकदम राम भाई तिमें एक्सपेक्टेशन हम थी तिमें यह लेवल समय तुम्हें मिट कर सक्य अर्क एनकरेजमेंट संग संग चोइस अफ वर्ड एज अ सुपरवाइजर यू सुड बी एबल टू यूज दैट अप्रोप्रिएट चोइस अफ वर्ड टू यूपर एज टू यर सबर्डिनेट्स कतिपय केस में के तरीका भाग उसको टोन ने उसको चोइस अफ वर्ड ने मिस इंटरप्रेट कर सकता सो तो हमें फोकस गये हो फैक्टर्स हम कंसिडर गये एज अ सुपरवाइजर एज अ सबर्डिनेट्स में अलग रिनेसनशिप में अलग राम जो मैं लग एनकरेजमेंट को मोटिवेट करने कुछ सुनने कुछ भो अट इंट्रेस्ट दैम व्हाट मैटर्स टू दैम व्हाट मैटर्स टू दैम इन द एवरी डे लाइफ है स्मल स्मल कुछ बुझे उ स्मल एक्सरसाइज दिए हमें अलग उ अंडरस्टैंड कर फिलिंग्स लाई बिकमिंग बिंग मोर एम्पथेटिक भर कुछ सुनो आई थिंक टू वे रिनेसनशिप अलग मोर एट स्ट्रंग जो दैट इज वर आई फील I think that is a beautiful, beautiful answer that you have given, and this shows how important it is to have social awareness, and uh, you know, be aware of what your employees or what your subordinates like, what matters to them, what are their preferences, to know their interests. When you start knowing your employee as a person, when you stop seeing them as an object, but when you start seeing them as a person, uh, you know, and when you start knowing their interests, that will automatically make it easier for the supervisor to also trust the subordinate. I think that is a uh, very very important in itself, and uh, yeah. so during uh, this situation, you know, after this coronavirus, uh, all of us, you know, have been. Uh, have been facing a lot of certain uncertainty and also a lot of havoc because uh, we are all scared of how the economy will now turn out to be like and what will now take place in our economy so at this point of time when people cannot really envision a big picture in their heads it can 
it can really feel difficult to you know motivate yourself to do some work like this has happened to me also like because i cannot see the big picture i can i sometimes tend to feel very demotivated so at that point of time what are a few things that uh, you know supervisors or even hr managers could do to make their employees perform at their best levels because again at this time performance is something that is very crucial for organizations to survive for the organizations to really survive through this crisis they really have to be able to you know motivate their employees that is like crucial so yeah what are a few things that you know hr people or managers could do to you know help their employees perform uh, at their at higher levels even during uh, times of crisis what a beautiful question what a beautiful question uh in this case what i would like to say is that as an hr as an hr department in any organization is not only liable for hiring or you know terminating staffs but also they are hiring they are they are much more than that i think they are for motivating staffs they are there to understand how the staff members are feeling at times how they must be going through the situations or challenges in their life the or ko kurat what i feel is that as an hr maile pani hamro huncha ni hamro mero colleagues haru lai maile mero huncha ni hamro staff ko staff members haru lai team ma kura garira huncho you are not just alone in this pandemic your supervisor is there your line manager is there we as an hr is there for you your ceo is there your deputy ceo is there timi eklai chaino you are not alone in this journey haina so timi sang sang hami pani cham ra timro problem ani hamro problem ho timro family problem ani ko hamle sunnu parne kura ho ra ma as a hr what i feel is that staff ko problem staff ko family ko problem ani staff ko problem ho kini ki staff ko family alkati upset hunu mane staff upset hunu ho स्टाफ अपसेट हुनु भने उले परफर्मेन्स पनि राम्रोसँग काम गर्न नसक्नु हो हैन र त्यो भनेको हामी एज एचआर दुखी हुनु हो तर स्टाफको फ्यामिली खुशी हुनु स्टाफ दङ पर्नु हैन स्टाफको वेलबीइङ सबै राम्रो हुनु र स्टाफको मेन्टल हेल्थ फाइनान्शियल स्टेटस अप्रिसिएटिभ हुनु भने एज एचआर हामी पनि खुशी हुनु हो सो मैले मेरो सोच चाहिँ अलिकति कसरी चेन्ज गराछु भने म्यान पावर भन्थे के पहिला पहिला चाहिँ स्टाफ ए म्यान पावर त हो नि नो पीपल इन्डिभिजुअल us i na human timle bhane jaste treating people as a people not as an object i na ra maile ke bhane jaste esto time ma hamle aru bela ta pakke pani bujchhau ra hamro organization le pani hamro staff well being ko lagi different um jasto bhanu na channelizing thoughts uh, in order to mitigate um esto situation hala kasari mitigate garne managing self possessions haru i na ra hamle hamro staff ko lagi pani dherai nai khyal gariraka chhau ra garnu pani parcha jasto lagcha Uh, I'm speaking not just as an HR, but also as a very concerned and and a, as a responsible staff member of my organization. I know, right? Um, I'm your staff colleague. Bush no colleague. It's a, my leg. I'm an asto. I'm a songy in some. I'm a songy. Agadi board some. Team agadi board no. My good. Team your son's star agadi board no. Team your organization agadi board no. I know. Team your team agadi board no. So I think it's 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 a very important time to make them very much hopeful and keep them very affirmative at times. Unala algeti um unsa ni choice support so ramli use gar dakhiri ra maile pin feel garat chuke maile small message aru mero um colleagues aru lai who has been who have been working um as a frontliner uh, in the branch different branches aru ma le kam gari raknu bhayo as a frontline group ma guys you are doing amazing work unsa ni tapai le garnu bhayo kam ekdam ramro cha as a frontliner you have been doing tremendous job ban ban da hairi unako to expressive hunchan ke so a small gesture that matters at the end of the day jasto lagcha ra as a hr मैं कि भाई जो हायरिंग रर्मिनेसन को हमें करने रेगुलर काम पहले ट्रेडिशनल एचआर को अप्रोच भाग अच्छे एज ए एचआर दे आर वर्किंग एज अ स्ट्रैटेजिक बिजनेस पार्टनर है उन्हीं अर्गनाइजेशन को एज एडवाइजरी बोर्ड को रूप में काम कर गिविंग मोर एडवाइस टू द अर्गनाइजेशन टू द मैनेजमेंट एज टू हाउ वी कैन मुव टुगेदर इन दिस कंपिटेटिव एरा ये धीरे कमर्सि बैंक तर हाउ वी गोना मेक आवर स्टाफ मोर सैटिस्फाइड हाउ वी गोना मेक आवर कस्टमर मोर हेप्पी एंड बिल्ड एम लंग टर्म प्रफिटेबल रिनेसनशिप को आईना सो स्टाफ खुशी होने पर्यटन स्टाफ हेप्पी बने हमी खुशी हो हमी खुशी हम अर्गनाइजेशन अगड़ी बढ़ु हो and when banking sector who has been giving who has been contributing a lot in the economic sector of the country i know timro institution ramro hunu institution progress garnu bhanai chai desh ko eta artatantra or economy pani ramro hunu jasto that is what i feel mahima 
So I think one very, very beautiful learning that I have from your answer is that it is so important for HR managers to, you know, look at things from the micro level and then go to the macro level. So, you know, like when you start believing that your employees matter, when you start looking at their individual needs, that is when they will feel valued. That is when their efficiency will go higher. That is when they will feel encouraged. And when these people feel encouraged and when their efficiency goes higher, the whole organization starts to flourish. And when these organization will start to flourish, the economy will naturally start to flourish. So I think that's a beautiful, beautiful learning that I've gotten from your answer. And this, I think, takes me to the Taj Hotel incident. So I think there was a Bombay attack that had happened uh, in the Taj Hotel. And uh, during that time, I think uh, the hotel had given amazing compensation for all the employees who had lost their lives um, in that crisis. I think the organization did so because they looked at their employees as people, as people who really had significance, as people who had their families, as people who had their own needs, hopes and concerns, just like we all do. It is so important for organizations to believe that their employees are humans too and they would have their own needs, hopes and concerns too. Thank you so much, Sashwat, for your beautiful, beautiful insights today. And thank you so much for making time with us. Are there any final thoughts that you'd like to share before we wrap up this conversation? At first, uh, thank you very much, Mahima, for having me in this show of yours, um, the show of My Emotions Matter. And I'm really very much thankful to My Emotions Matter team for choosing me to share my insights um, as a HR as a HR person from the organization that I represent and as an individual where I you know got to share my experiences as to how me and along with my staff members are facing and also um, I'm very much thankful to share um, about the people who have been working who have been working very much for the organization who have been working as a frontliner uh, in today's pandemic time so very much thank you to you and um, to all the viewers I would like to Say please keep supporting and um, you know uh, um, looking the videos that my emotions matter share because they have come up with a new and beautiful way of uh, connecting the lives of each of us to different stories. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Sashwat, for making time for us today. And for all our viewers out there, there is one reflective question that I'd like to give you all at the end of this conversation. So what is one thing that you could do to make others around you feel trusted? Because we have talked a lot about the culture of trust today. So that is the reflection question that I'd like to leave our audiences with. Until then, please think about this question. And if you have a, an interesting answer, please feel free please feel free to write that in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys next week. Until then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.